The Weekly, hosted by the editors of Pro Builder and Pro Remodeler, starts now. Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of The Weekly. This is your spot every Thursday to check out the latest trends and innovations we see in the marketplace. So Thanksgiving's one week away from today. And if you know me, I love Thanksgiving. I don't think I'm alone on that. So since we won't be doing a show next Thursday, I thought I would give my thanks. Here's the beginning. I'm really thankful we're in this industry. How lucky are we concerning what's happened this year? And the thing about this industry that's so great, it's the people that are in it. People in this industry tend to stay in it for a long time. And it's also amazing how many people's lives we touch. It's really super cool. Well, so what I'd like to thank, I'd like to thank Dan Morrison. Who's Dan Morrison? He's the producer of this show. So I do this videotape in my house. I send it off to Dan, and then it shows up online and it's awesome. So Dan, please get on the screen and say hi to everybody. I also like to give a big thanks to our editors. We launched a weekly this year and they've done a fantastic job. And I joke, but it's so true. I'm so much smarter by watching these episodes. They've really put fantastic content out there. And lastly, I'd like to thank the audience. You guys, you've been a part of it. I've gotten so many great emails. And I really appreciate your support and your engagement. So there it is. There's the Thanksgiving thank yous. So let's get into this week's show. Our sponsor this week is Whirlpool. And why is Whirlpool fantastic? Because they understand segmentation and giving the right product to the right person. And I can promise you, no matter who your client is, they have not only the right product, but the research behind why it's the right product. You should check it out. So in our first segment today, we talked to Brent Jackson. And Brent's putting a whole new spin on production building. It's got modern design, unconventional materials. They're a little bit smaller. And believe it or not, they plan the landscaping before they design the home. Listen to this. Um, we really work hand in hand on, on starting with landscape first and appreciating the power of landscape prior to the actual structure. And so it's a little bit of a reverse order when you look at who my competitors are in building homes. You know, most people have the landscape uh, as, a, as an afterthought or a mid thought. Mm -hmm. we, start, we start with landscape. We try to blend three cultures uh, and everything that Oaxaca works on, and that that marries well with the other rest of the teammates. Um, and uh, and that that's the Japanese culture, the uh, Mexican culture, and the Texan culture. Mm -hmm. And you'll you'll see all three of those sort of woven throughout. Um, if you look at the species of the of the uh, planting materials, a majority of them, if not all, on on these shots you'll, you'll see are native Texas species. Okay. So they're, that's helpful in that they're drought resistant and also flood tolerant. Um, but that also helps with sort of a lock and leave mentality. So it's relatively low maintenance, but, but continually beautiful, beautiful uh, property. In our middle segment today, we talked to Ryan Hurd. And Ryan Hurd talks about the collision between aging in place and smart technology. Whoever thought that would be a collision? And what exactly are older adults looking for in their homes? That said, the worst thing you can do is go to grandma's house and remove her front door lock and replace it with like a smart door lock. Because all of a sudden she comes home and instead of seeing a keyhole, she sees a keyhole with a bunch of buttons and that freaks her house. What did you do? I just want to put the key in and open. So what does that mean to the builders community? Well, there's technology that makes sense and technology that doesn't make so much sense. And you have to understand your core consumer. Who are you building for? So for example, technology that is useful 
in this uh, realm is going to be smart lights, the ability to turn lights on within uh, the home. But then there's other technology that um, is very useful. So let's talk about the smart uh, microwave. So the ability to have a smartphone uh, scan a QR code or scan that bag and the microwave know exactly what it is and what they have to do. I mean, even for me, and I'm just about to turn 50, that's a godsend. I will use that all the time. In our final segment today, Erica Taylor talks about transparency and the remodeling market. Erica interviews three experts in this area. And Erica has been known to stir the pot and get things going. Listen to this. If I go to see a lawyer or if I go to see a dentist or a surgeon, they're not going to tell me how much money they're making. That's not my business. They're in business, you know, but their business is their business, you know. And so why should I be called upon to break out my numbers, including showing and There's a my very business? simple answer to that. That's one of the bullshit rationalizations I hear for lying in estimates all the time. And the answer is, if you're providing a competitive bid, you don't owe the client anything other than a lump sum figure. Now, if you want to give them more as a sales tactic, fine, but you don't owe, the, to, owe it to them. But if you are being paid to create an estimate, then you owe the client honest numbers. And when you hire a doctor or a lawyer or go into a restaurant and buy a meal, you're not paying for numbers. You are paying for a product. So that ends our segments for this week. As always, we greatly appreciate you joining us. If you missed any of our segments, you can check them out on Horizon TV or on YouTube. And like me, I'm trying to get smarter. The more you watch, the smarter you get. I'd also like to thank Whirlpool for being a sponsor of it. Check them out. They really do have fantastic products. So enjoy Thanksgiving. It's a wonderful holiday. And this year, more than anything, I think we really value our family and all those loved ones. And it's a great opportunity to do that. So be safe, wear your mask. It's just crazy out there right now. And have a wonderful week. And we'll see you back here in two weeks. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.